Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up mixed reality for your uh, HTC Vive or perhaps your Oculus Rift. I'm going to be focusing, however, on the Vive. So the first thing you want to do is download a package from this website that's going to be in the description of this video. Scroll down to step one and download the mixed reality to controller zip file. For this mixed reality setup, I'm going to be assuming that you have two Vive controllers and you do not have a third controller. If you do have a third controller, you could skip a few steps. Once it is extracted to your desktop, go ahead and find the folder called Virtual Controller. You want to copy this folder to the following directory. The Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Steam VR drivers, and then just copy the folder right in there inside the drivers folder. And the following DLL should just be in the proper place. So the next thing you want to do is enable the multiple driver support. So for this one, you want to go and navigate to your Steam VR uh, directories. So you want to go to Steam, so once, once you're in your Steam folder in the program directory, you want to go to config. Down here, you have Steam VR uh, config file. Mine opens up with notepad, so my icon might be different from yours. Just look for the Steam VR uh, config file and open it up in notepad. When it's opened up in notepad, all you have to do is go, let's just, I might have a lot of different data here. Just focus on the Steam VR uh, in quotation marks. Just press enter and type in activate multiple drivers and then type in uh, true and then make sure you put a comma after that. If it looks good, then we're done with this area. You can just save it. So now you want to just exit it. If you have your Steam VR open, just close that and reopen it. You want to make sure that you turn on your both of your controllers at the same time or at a similar time. Um, if done correctly, you should have your headset, two controllers activated, and within 30 to, or 20 to 30 seconds, you should see a third fake controller appear. This one's going to be your camera. And now the last step is to generate the external config file. Well, the external camera config file. So in the package, there is a program, well, a game-ish situation um, called the camera align tool. This will allow you to align your virtual camera, the fake camera, with your real life camera. In this case, I have my webcam. So once you boot it up, you're gonna have some instructions there. Very, It's a very simple program. When you press the grip buttons, you're gonna be aligning essentially that tool you see there with the protruding lines um, in the direction that you're facing your camera to. Now make sure that you put in the proper FOV. This is the field of view of your camera. When I was first setting this up, I ignored this value and I got a very small and inaccurate view of my um, virtual world. So this is a very important step and get that one right. In this case, my field of view for my webcam is 90 degrees. So once that is done, you're, you're basically set up, almost. <laughs> So the next thing you want to do is click save in that program and it'll create an external camera config file in the main directory of that program. So in this case, it's right here, external camera. Next thing you want to do is copy that file and paste it in the main directory of any game you want to play in mixed reality. For this example, I'm going to be using Tilt Brush because Tilt Brush I know works with mixed reality. Not all games will work. So just navigate to the Steam VR folder again. So program files, scroll down, Steam, Click on Steam Apps, Common. Now here's a list of all the games, the virtual reality games that I have. So let's go down to Tilt Brush, and I already have it here, so just ignore that, and paste in the external camera config file. And now if you boot up Tilt Brush, you should see four individual squares. These are the squares you're gonna be using to create the mixed reality experience. If it doesn't appear, it might not appear the first time, just close it and reopen Tilt Brush. Another issue could be your headset falling asleep. If your headset does fall asleep, it, it'll it think the, it'll basically break the, the mixed reality situation. So just, I don't know, kick your headset, make it wake up, and then it'll fix itself. So the next thing you want is OBS, the Open Broadcast Software. It's free, totally free, just download it, open it up, so I'm going to have a lot of random things on my OBS, just in the sources area. Just ignore that. We're just going to make some new stuff. So we're going to add a new source, and it's going to be a window capture. Now, keep in mind, you need to have your tilt brush open to set this th set this stuff up. So window capture, just create new, whatever, mix, doesn't matter. Then uh, in the window tab, go to tilt brush and deselect capture cursor. We don't want our cursor selected. And now you should see um, something there. And make sure to give it a name like background. So for background, right click it, go to filters. You want to add a crop to this. So add crop pad. It doesn't matter what you name it. And then down there. So for the cropping, it depends on the resolution that you're um, rendering your game at or your, the render resolution of your monitor. In my particular case, I found that 400 by or 540 by 400 works perfect for me. It probably won't for you. 
Um, so just play around with the numbers. You can probably look up um, some numbers online. So I, I use 400 by 500. I put that in and it got me the exact thing that I wanted. So now let's add your webcam to everything. So click on plus. It'll be a video capture device and it doesn't matter what you name it, I guess. So uh, just click for the device, click your the name of your webcam. Scroll down, you can change the resolution if you don't want the device default to 920 by uh, 1080 if you want the 1080p. So for the webcam, assuming you have green screen set up, you wanna to go to filters and you wanna add a color filter or a color key rather. For the color key, it's already at green. If, it's, if, you're, if you don't have a green screen, but like a blue screen or what have you, then change it appropriately. You can also add a custom color. So for mine, I was, this is a very quick and dirty example. I'm not trying to get perfect green screen here. I just, this is just a quick setup to demonstrate how you would, you would make mixed reality work. So this is perfect. I don't need to have it any more perfect than this. So you want to resize your webcam to have it the appropriate dimensions and such. Now we want to add the foreground to OBS. So click plus window capture again, go back to tilt brush and make sure you deselect capture cursor. For the foreground, there's a couple ways of doing this. You, I've seen an example where you would just have it um, auto tr have transparency or have it based on the other uh, alpha square. In my particular case, I'm just going to green screen the black out. Um, so once you add the foreground, you want to do it. Go, you want to right click it, go to filters, add a crop, and you want to add the same values but for a different um, angle. So this is the right bottom, but it's also going to be 540 by 400. So with those two values added, we want to add the, as I said, the um, the black screen or the, the green screen for the black color. So I added the color key filter again, went to key color type, added a custom color, a black color in this case, and played around with the settings just so it could look decently well. So now we basically just play the matching game. You want to match up the foreground and the background. That's the easiest step. All you have to do to, in Tilt Brush is make a spiral around you, and that'll um, allow you to just match up the foreground and the background very easily. So then you want to match up the webcam. So this is easiest if you have a third, or rather a second participant just standing in the green screen area. You can match up the controllers the person would have, and there you go. And this is the quick and dirty method of how you would set up a mixed reality system in OBS. It's the easiest way to do it. And yes, the quality is not the greatest, but if you actually properly set it up and took the time to uh, crop everything decently well, you can get some really good results. So I hope this helped in some way, and thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and 3D printing videos, you know, all that stuff, HTC Vive, etc.